Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belonging to my Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, excuse me, Wahabaka Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Moson that teach his truth well and that continue to teach his truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and learning across the globe. I just want to get this quick lesson in. Okay. Lord will it be edifying. There's a lot I'm dealing with. So um so lucky if I ain't been able to put out these sit-downs. I still need to find time to study and fit in these videos. So <clears throat> that's why I'm producing less, but I want to step it up because I'm always striving for perfection. But I just want to go into this lesson. This is Matthew 7. And we're going to go straight to verse 24. Because this is something I was thinking about. Wherefore, there, wherefore whosoever hear these sayings of mine. This is Yahweh speaking. So it's one thing hearing. But it's another thing to do. Okay. And do it for them. Okay. So it's about doing. Being action orientated. Now we hear this work, we know what, what, what we have to do, and we get involved. All hands on deck. <coughs> Excuse me. And do with them, I will like him unto a wise man. So those that are like, they're those that are lacking unto a wise man. Those that are actually doing. Learning, the, learning these scriptures and applying it. That's actually doing. That's, that man's going to be counted wise. Which built his heart up on a rock, and that rock is Yahweh Shai. That rock is a strong foundation. And the way we build that foundation is off the basics. You have certain men that, that do videos, okay? But guess what? None of their videos you hear about Yahweh Shai or who he came to save, okay? They're mediocre, but they can do videos on other carnal things that don't even really pertain to the truth. So the whole thing is what? Building your rock. <coughs> Excuse me, building your house upon a sand. Uh, building your, so like I say, building your house upon a rock, which is Yahweh Shai, that foundation. Okay. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and that's all the tribulations, that's everything that comes our way. And beat upon that house, and that house is us. And it fell not. Okay, so the script says it fell not. It did not stumble, it did not falter, for it was founded upon a rock. So those that are founded upon that rock are founded upon Yahweh Shai. Okay? So they cannot be moved. And everyone that hears these things of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man. So this is someone that hears this word, but he doesn't apply. He goes about his way, goes about his life, and takes his truth for a joke and just watches for entertainment. Because many just watch for entertainment. That man would be likened unto what a foolish man, which built his house upon a sand, and the sand is a is a shaky foundation. It's not strong. It falters. Okay. So this is applying the foolish virgins are those that didn't take this truth seriously. They didn't lay it to heart. So this is very serious. Okay. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it, because it was not founded upon Yahweh Shai. That's why Yahweh Shai says, learn of me. It's so important that you learn of Yahweh Shai. Bear me just a minute. Because I did not want to make this lesson long. Second Samuels. 22, and we're going to go straight to 51. He is the tower of salvation. Speaking of Yahweh Shai. For his king. And show of mercy to his anointed, unto David. Okay, mercy was bestowed unto King David. Okay, and to his seed forevermore. Going down to what Solomon as well, and to his seed. Okay, to the house of David. So the seed, the house of David. What are they going to be shown? Mercy. And this is what we hope for as well. Mercy. But the main point here is the tower. For his king. Okay, so what's our tower? What's our defense? This word, Yahweh Shai. Without that, we have no defense. Let's quickly go to Psalms and we shut up on this. And when you see this, um, this image, what does it show? 
they call it, what did they call it, what did they call it, a lighthouse? Okay, which is a, basically a strong tower and what? The waters are beating against it. You know you have a hundred feet, a hundred foot waters. Okay, that actually hit this tower. And it's still stable, strong. And this is like unto Yahweh Shai. So he's our strong tower. Let's quickly go to Proverbs and we shut off on this. 18 and 10. The name of the Lord Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. So the name of Yahweh Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. Is a protection. Not to everyone, to those that have faith in that name. Okay? And the righteous runneth into it. So only the righteous man is going to call upon that name in faith, in sincerity. And is safe. Okay? And that comes with the fear of the Lord. Because you have people calling on the name of Yahweh Shai, but they're not doing the will of Yahweh Shai. So those that are doing the will of Yahweh Shai, they're the ones that are going to be safe in this time to come. So with this lesson, I really hope this was edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.